This morning we had an email from a customer asking a great question about the volume and balance footprint and specifically uh, it was about the current bar and he was asking why in some cases do I see an imbalance occur meaning a red sell imbalance or a green buy imbalance only then to see it disappear and the answer to that is basically what you're witnessing is a developing bar. This is the current bar. So the current bar, while there may be a buy imbalance or sell imbalance that is present in the moment, as trading continues to occur within that bar, it could go away. So what we do is we're giving you, we're showing you the earliest indication that an imbalance is present, whether it be a buy imbalance or a sell imbalance. But you have to realize that that buyer, buyer sell imbalance could also disappear as trading progresses within the bar. It's not until the bar closes that those imbalances are confirmed or locked in. So if we were to look back at these previous bars, these ones are not going to change. These are obviously bars that are in hit their history now. And you can see the sell imbalances here in these bars. And if we were to sit here and watch this bar develop for a few minutes, there's a chance that this red sell imbalance would go away or this green buy imbalance would go away or that new ones would actually appear. So... Um, we don't probably want to sit here and wait. This is pre-market. could be a while. But the main point is the developing bar, uh, anything can change. These values are updating in real time as volume is coming into the market. And the footprint is showing you the most real-time picture of that imbalance, especially the imbalance footprint is showing you in real time when an imbalance is present you just have to realize that it could disappear so for somebody who's real aggressive if you're a real aggressive trader when you see that imbalance first appear within the bar you may use that as your trigger to place your trade or to exit a trade depending on what your position is if you're a more conservative trader you may wait for this bar to close and then use the imbalance as your trigger to get in your trade. Again, a lot of this depends on the time frame of trader you are um, and what you're looking to get out of the trade that you're putting on. If you're scalping for a tick or two, um, then being more aggressive is probably necessary. Um, and now I'm not I'm not trying to say aggressive or conservative trader is good or bad. It's really just a matter of what type of trader you are and what kind of strategy you're employing. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at Market Delta. Uh, we also post frequent examples to Twitter. Our handle is at Market Delta or to footprintchart.com. Thanks and make a great day.